Okay, uh, video with a difference today. I'm going to show you something pretty cool with these uh, induction hobs. Now, lots, lots of you will have seen these before. Uh, and some of these won't. Now, they do look like um, the normal halogen hobs that most, you know, most kitchens have. But these don't work the same and I'll, I'll show you something. Hang on a sec. Let's get some cold water. Right. Okay, so I got my pan of cold water. And it is nice. obviously out of the, the cold tap. Now put this on. Wait till you see this. Right. Put tea towel over it. Shit, stay on. Uh, over. Okay. Watch this. Now you're probably thinking I'm some kind of nutcase that I'm going to burn my house down, but I'm not. This is the cool thing about these. Because they don't really get hot like uh, like a halogen. A halogen cooker does. It's actually called uh, an induction. So if you're going to try this at home, make sure it is an induction one, not an allergen one. There you go, see now it's starting to, to boil already, yeah? Okay. So that's only taking literally a few seconds, so to speak. So, let's just take that off a minute. Uh, let's turn the power down. Now look, not a mark on the tea towel whatsoever. Yeah, even the hob doesn't even get hot. A little bit warm, but you know, it's just a bit of condensation on there. But watch, it doesn't even damage the dreaded. Let's try, there's a couple of threat letters I found in the drawer. There we go. There we go. Let's get it speed up a little bit. So we've got that going again. Now that's not actually doing anything to the letters because it doesn't get hot, you see. It's not uh, generating any heat like, uh, like a normal cooker would. You know, uh, it works on electromagnets, so the like, big coils that are inside them. Uh, and that's about all that I know about them really, but, but yeah. No damage to the letters. See? Uh, no, no damage to them whatsoever. Completely fine. And still nice and cold. There you go. Uh, right. Take it easy.